Welcome guys, so in today's lecture we would be starting with our test 2 that is test of significance for difference of proportion. So uh, there are three case cases. So in the first case to test the significance difference between sample proportion P1 and P2. Here uh, we don't have population proportion capital P. We have two sample proportions P1 and P2. So the test statistics Z is equals to P1 minus P2. Uh, divided by under root p q into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 n1 is the sample size of p1 and n2 is the sample size of p2 here this p is total proportion this small p is total proportion so where p1 is sample proportion 1 p2 is sample proportion 2 and p is total proportion here P is, total proportion is N1 into P1 plus N2 into P2 divided by N1 plus N2. And Q, small q is equals to 1 minus P. In case 2, we have to test the significance difference between sample proportion P1 and total proportion P. Not between P1 and P2 like the previous case, but P1 and P. Small P1 and small p that is sample proportion and total proportion so here test st statistics z is equals to p1 small p1 minus small p divided by under root n2 small p into small q divided by n1 into n1 plus n2 here p that is total pro proportion is equals to n1 into p1 this is small p1 and small p2 n1 into small p1 plus n2 into small p2 divided by n1 plus n2 and small q is equals to 1 minus p small p and case 3 is if the sample proportion are not known then test statistics z is equals to capital p1 minus capital p2 divided by under root capital P1 capital Q1 divided by N1 plus capital P2 capital into capital Q2 divided by N2. So let's solve problem and understand all the three cases. So this is problem number one which is based on case one and that is a small P1 minus small P2 difference between a small P1 and small P2. So random sample of 400 men and 600 women were uh, asked whether they uh, would like to have a flyover near their residence. 200 men and two, 325 women were in the favor of the proposal. Test the hypothesis that proportion of men and women in favor of the proportion, uh, proposal are same at 5% five, uh, 5 level significance. So sample size n1 is equals to 400 for men and n2 is equals to 600 for women. So sample proportion of uh, men P1, small P1 is equals to 200, 200 agreed, so 200 by 400, that is 0 0.5 and for P2, that is for women, it is 325 agreed out of 600, so 325 by 600, that is 0 0.541. So now null hypothesis H0 is equals to, uh, remember, just see the formula and put equal to, that is P1 equal to P2 and alternative hypothesis just put not equal to p1 not equal to p2 so for case 1 z is equals to that is test 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 statistics is equals to uh, small p1 minus small p2 uh, divided by under root p small p into small q uh, in, uh, into bracket that is total of n uh, 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 so here we need to calculate the p that is total proportion so total proportion n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2 and q is 1 by 1 minus p so um, p uh, when we put the data n1 p1 n2 p2 and n1 uh, n2 then we'll get p that is total proportion equals to 0 0.525 and q would be 1 minus 0 0.525 that is 0 0.475 so z is equals to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.541 that is my p1 minus p2 and under root p into q that is uh, 0 0.525 into 0 0.475 into 1 by 400 that is 1 by n1 plus 1 by 600 that is 1 by n2 
that would give minus 1.34 but we take the positive value so mod z is equals to 1.34 now table value at uh, significance level 5 that is z alpha 2 tailed for 5% level is just see from table 5% level 2 tailed test z alpha is 1.96 so table value would be 1.96 this is how we see the conclusion is calculated value that is 1.34 is less than table value so we need to accept the null hypothesis that, that is that is h naught that is p1 is equals to p naught p1 equals to p2 so there is no difference between the opinion of men and women as far as proposal of flyover is concerned got it now let us see uh, case 2 for the same now uh, this is the question in a random sample of 400 students of the university of teaching department it it was found that 300 students failed in the exam in another sample of 500 students of the affiliated colleges the number of failures in the same examination was found to be 300 find out whether the proportion of failure in the university teaching departments uh, teaching departments significantly greater than the proportion of failure in the university teaching departments and affiliated colleges taken together so uh, by reading the question we can conclude that we need to uh, choose case 2 that is the difference between the population uh, that is uh, p1 or you can say uh, the first uh, sample proportion and uh, the total the total proportion because here it is written total see all together university and departments and affiliated colleges uh, taken all together so first we need to take for uh, this teaching department of university only and then uh, the uh, teaching department of the university plus other university affiliated to it all together so here n1 is equals to 400 and n2 is equals to 500 the sample proportion of failure in un university uh, teaching department that is p1 small p1 is equal to 300 by 400 so 300 uh, students failed out of how many students out of 400 students and there were total 400 students and 300 failed so 300 by 400 equals to 0 0.75 now sample proportion of uh, affiliated colleges for affiliated colleges how many students failed 300 students failed out of 500 so 300 by 500 equals 0 0.6 now we need to calculate total proportion that is n1 p1 plus n2 p2 divided by n1 plus n2 we'll put all the values and we'll get 0 0.667 and small q would be 1 minus p that is 0 0.333 so null hypothesis is p1 is equals to total proportion here we are taking uh, second case so it is uh, the numerator was p1 minus p so we will take p1 equals to p as null hypothesis and in uh, second alternative hypothesis we can take uh, right tail test or uh, you can say uh, the uh, you can just take two tail test if you are confused if you don't understand it properly so it would be like uh, uh, p1 not equal to capital P what is capital uh, not capital P but small p what is this small p the small p is uh, total proportion of universities plus uh, the affiliated colleges so this is a right tail test uh, because it was asked greater than so it it might come under right tail and it might come under uh, two tailed if you want you can take right tail and two tail nothing will vary just the table value of z alpha would vary and you can conclude accordingly now the formula was z is equals to p1 minus p under uh, root divided by under root n2 p1 q divided by n1 into n1 plus n2 so when we put all the values we will get 4.74 and uh, uh, the value for uh, uh, table value would be uh, z, uh, z alpha at 5% significance level is 1.96 so calculated value that is 4.74 is greater than table value that is 1.96 so we reject h naught so therefore we can conclude that the proportion of failures in the affiliated college is greater than the proportion of failures in the university department and affiliated college taken together so now we'll uh, see a question on case 3 
so case 3 in the two large populations here we don't know the sample population of uh, p1 or p2 anything uh, we cannot calculate the total proportion hence so here we have been given two large uh, population 30 percent and 25 percent respectively of fair haired people is uh, their difference likely to be hidden in sample of 1200 and 900 respectively from the two uh, populations so here we are given two uh, large that is uh, population proportion we don't know sample proportion so we will uh, use the third case that is difference between the population proportions so the sample size is n1 equals to 1200 and n2 is equal to 900 so now uh, we would move we'll, we'll see that uh, we'll use the case 3 for this so population proportion of the fair haired people uh, in the first population is 20 uh, 30 percent so 30 by 100 that is 0 0.3 and the second population is p2 is equal to 25 percent 25 by 100 0 0.25 and capital q1 is equal to 1 minus capital p1 and capital q2 is uh, 1 minus ca uh, capital uh, p2 that would give th these values now we'll take uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so in the formula we we have capital p1 minus capital p2 so as we know that for null hypothesis it should be equal to so p1 equal to p2 and for alternative hy hypothesis it should not be equal to either greater or less but here it is two tailed so we'll put p1 not equal to p2 so our test statistics is z is equals to capital p1 minus capital p2 that is the total proportion of large sample one total proportion uh, that is la uh, population uh, total population of uh, sample one and total population of sample two and uh, divided by under root p1 uh, q1 divide, uh, divided by n1 plus p2 q2 divided by n2 so when we put all the uh, values uh, we'll get uh, this kind of uh, like formula and then uh, the z would be 2.55 so when we uh, see the table value for 5% uh, two tail it would be 1.96 so the conclusion is calculated value is greater than z alpha that is uh, table value so we reject the null hypothesis h not so this is all for uh, this lecture uh, in the next lecture we would conclude uh, we, we would continue with the next type of testing till then take care stay safe